111 void shards let's go christmas opener i know you guys been loving it let's hit it what's up guys mtg jedi here how you doing this morning let me know first of all how opposed you are to this entertaining void shard video if you're mad that i made it please tell me all about it in the comments below if you appreciate some entertainment this friday morning or whenever you're watching it let me know that too today <clears throat> we have not only the 2x voids which i don't know about you i thought that was going to be 2x um sacreds and uh, yesterday I made a video discussing the shard schedule. A lot of you were able to find and watch that video. If you haven't seen that, highly recommend you going to look at that. It's very informative about what you can expect for the shard schedule going forward. But today we are pulling void shards and we have this guy on the 2X He's the 10X 2X. He's like a Knight's Rev version of Santa. He's got like the metal face. Like, is he actually a robot? Is he actually a robot? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. So here's the thing. Is this guy good enough? I really don't know because... Okay, so let, like, let's look at his kit, okay? First off, I want to start with the aura. Speed and arena battles. So that tells me that Polarium thinks this guy is an arena champion. I don't know that I agree, but that is a very powerful aura. Like, we do not see this very often. And without that, I'd be pretty disappointed, I think. I don't actually think that I want this guy. But do you want him? Like, am I missing something here? Okay. He has an AoE A1. Decreases the duration of all enemy buffs by one turn. 35, 50% uh, chance on the A1, which is not bad. He's a support champion, so I doubt he's a damage dealer, but you never know. Um, his A2 is AoE Weak and Hex. So if you happen to get him, he would pair like really well in Hydra for like someone like Ugo, where you're doing decreased defense block buffs, then he would come in and do Hex and Weaken. Now also, if they're under a freeze, um, has a 75% chance of placing Hex and a 20 for three turns, okay? So it just goes from two turns to three turns if they're under freeze. I don't care about that. It's fine, whatever. I think that his A3 is unique, but let me know if I'm right or wrong on this. He places a freeze. Is this the first champion we've seen to place the freeze debuff? I think all of the other ones are on attacks, but I, I'm not sure. Fully depletes the turn meters of all enemies that receive freeze debuffs from this skill. Fully depletes. That's pretty powerful. And then also boost the turn meter of all allies by 10% for each freeze debuff. But here's the thing, everybody's in stone skin. What do we matter about placing freeze? So, I don't know. We're supposed to get um, some rebalances in 2024, but I think that's just supposed to be polymorph. I don't think that has anything to do with stone skin. So I just don't know how we're supposed to use this ability if everybody's in stone skin. We can't freeze them, right? You're just immune, immune to the debuffs. And then he has a sweet passive. Allies will ignore 10% of the target's defense if the target is under freeze. If the freeze debuff was placed by this champion, allies will ignore 20% instead. So if another person places the freeze then it's 10%. If it's him, then it's 20%. That's pretty powerful. That is pretty powerful. I actually think maybe his best spot will be Centranos. Um, but if you have ideas about this guy, let me know, because I'm kind of stumped on it. I like his kit. It seems strong and powerful, but like, I don't get this part, the arena. I don't get it. It does not make sense to me. I mean, if you're coming up, 
before you get to gold five and you're just fighting arbiter teams then yeah this this seems insane like if we go back a year before stone skin or whatever was in the game this seems insane like it would be absolutely amazing but now that we have stone skin i just don't get it wait 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 hey i wanted to jump in here real quick and edit this in um this video is also going to be a giveaway video and uh it's coming to the end of the month i haven't given away half of my content creator perks for the month so that's gonna be packs put on your account if you're a winner 540 gems a void shard and an epic book my goal is to do a lot of those in a promotional video that i keep getting sent back to me for more edits uh so it, at least one of those will be pulled in the comments of this video that is the uh um player ids that i will need so go ahead and put those down there along with anything else you want to share with me about the video and at least one winner will come from the comments um if this company keeps sending me this back we could have up to five winners in the comments here and uh, i will probably be pulling that on stream later today or maybe i'll give it a couple days let me know if you have an opinion on that but uh, i'll be encouraging people to sign up for the giveaway on stream later today here on youtube and on twitch i do all my streaming now on both platforms simultaneously i hope that that is um you know you guys like that you can go back and watch any of the live streams under the live tab over here on youtube so um player ids and any comment that you want to share with me 540 gems a void shard and an epic book perfect timing but uh you probably won't get this until after the new year is my guess depends on polarium you know i just send it to them and then they decide when to pass it out so back to the regularly scheduled video let's get into those shard pulls yes! Yes! anyway let's jump into the video we want to do some shard pulls here um i'm just gonna pull all of them i we'll see what we can get i don't really have a reason to hold them there's some pretty good rewards in the tournament right now and obviously it's the weekend which is the best time to pull your shards usually those midweek events they don't double reward you right you just get the champions you don't get the event or the tournament so that's why i still like pulling on the weekend maybe i need to do an updated video on that i don't know we're, we're gonna have to keep an eye on things in 2024 because i don't know what polarium is gonna do so let's jump in here still tons of champions i would like we're in oh geez oh geez do we have the spoiler box no spoilers polarium no spoilers stop with the spoilers okay Wait, some people requested that the spoiler box be a little bit bigger. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let me know how you th how you like that. Sizing of the spoiler box. This is for your entertainment purposes. Now, when you're pulling shards, make sure you're keeping copies of champions you think you will need for Centranos, especially Epics. Like, somebody mentioned this in the comments of one of my most recent videos. Um, we, as content creators, used to remind the community frequently to save one copy of every epic. I almost want to say some of the epics you want two copies of. Because, like, a Godseeker Aniri, if you're using her in Sand Devil, that build will probably work for Centranos and Sand Devil. But there are other champions that you might have specific builds for that you might want to build another uh, another version of for specifically Centranos and not mess up your original build. And if you're an endgame player, this just gives you the perfect opportunity to have champions to level up. If you're coming up in the game, you haven't beaten Faction Wars yet or whatever, then um, you need to worry about leveling up some more important champions probably. Um, but, you know, if you have Faction Wars beaten 
and most of the important champions leveled up on your account, then sometimes you're just looking for good champions to build. You know, who can I build that's going to help progress my account? I know when it comes to champion training, I like leveling up champions. It's fun. But also, I need champions to actually level up that are going to do anything. Um, so, the, you know, decide where you are in that process, right? And I don't think that there's anything wrong with leveling up champions specifically for Centranos. It's going to help you. It's going to progress your account. All of those things. <laughs> um, <laughs> I skipped ahead a little bit on those uh, <laughs> all rare 10 pulls after I saw the points. But I think Faceless is a great champion. And he is still super underrated, I think. He, he, let me just talk briefly about him since our shard pulls have been so bad. He ignores shield and block damage, which is important for Centranos. He's going to ignore their defense, which is going to be high. And then he places an increased crit rate buff on himself so you can technically build him with less uh, crit rate if you want. Uh, and he can place an extra hit. That extra hit's going to do more damage than the first hit. And then attack and arena battles again. Polarium just out of touch with some of these auras from these old champions. Um, what are we doing with the auras? We need more auras that work in Centranos, Polarium. Here's another all, all rares. Is the 2x on, Polarium? Is the 2x on? The same thing happened to me last time. Come on now. Let's go. Give me the gold, Polarium. So, I have not really found rares to be very helpful in Centranos. But if you have, please let me know if that's the case. If I were to pull this on somebody else's account, then I would certainly be getting two, three legendaries most of the time. Where's my legendaries, Plarium? I just get all these epics. Not even all these epics. Two epics. What's going on? All right, let's do a single pull. That's the gold. Definitely not. <laughs> All right, let's let's take a pause. Let's take a pause. Let's refresh ourselves on. <sighs> let's just breathe, okay? Let's just breathe. English fifty. I don't know. Let's go over to one eleven or something. Um, looks like there's some legendaries in there. Maybe that'll help us get a legendary here on our last 10 pull. I don't know, but, uh, is this the one? Please? Okay, Saris. And Skathix, there's no legendary here. Huh. <sighs> That's, that's, that's terrible. That is actually terrible. Now, I will say also, during this, uh, let me shut off the spoiler box. During this weekend, I wish I would have said this at the beginning of the video, don't forget to pull your Bovoses, okay? However many you have. Um, if you want points and you're not even doing the fusion, you might have a copy of him just from, like, doing stuff. Make sure you pull him this weekend. That's going to give you points, and you need to level them up. It's going to be my goal this weekend to get the third one. Let me know, am I behind here? Like, I feel like I'm behind, but maybe... I, I don't know. I think I've done everything, but I still feel like I'm behind. Either way, I need to start leveling those up. You know what I mean? And then we have 25 fragments towards the next one. I haven't done... Dungeon Divers, or Fire Knight, I think the other one is. And then I think that there's um, 25 in the Summon event. So, let's go pull a couple more. Try hard. Try again. And see if we can uh, change our luck here with maybe like a back-to-back a -back, uh, or something to make up for this, Plarium. What are you doing? This is supposed to be encouragement for people to pull. And uh, you're not being very encouraging, let me just say. 
And then after I get this uploaded this morning, i got to head over to basketball practice. Got a big win last night. I know some of you are asking about how's the basketball team doing. Uh, I coached the freshman team last night. We won by two points. They missed their last shot at the buzzer to tie the game. It was actually insane. Actually insane. We, uh, m one of my starters was out sick and uh we still managed to get the victory so that was that was pretty clutch they did an amazing job i don't think they know about the youtube channel yet so that'll be interesting whenever they get to to finding it um what do you guys think about genbo for uh for centranos i feel like he could be really strong but also i have i don't think i've used him even once is he even an option on any of these I, I've not seen him as an option. Maybe I just haven't noticed. There's another 10 pull of no legendaries, and hopefully this one will be the one. Okay. Ooh, dupe Rio. Okay, okay. And then I'm pretty sure there's not a second one in there. Oh, it's an epic. Okay. Dupe Rio. Now, this is an amazing champion. I absolutely love her. If you're getting her this weekend, man, this ability is so strong for Sand Devil and Phantom Shogun. She's going to be great for a lot of the Centranos content. She is just really a boss champion. She is excellent at bosses. She's because she's going to cleanse all of the debuffs and put block debuffs. And then do this gigantic heal as well. Plus, obviously, you know, she has the continuous heals on the A1. And then also, she can, um, you know, flip those debuffs back to the attacker. I don't like her aura. It's complete bullcrap. Why? Faction Crips. That's pretty dumb for a Void Legendary. But she's an amazing champion. So, tell me if you think that that was worth it. Hopefully you're entertained. Cue the are you entertained clips. And uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Look forward to some live streaming from me. I'll be live later on Twitch and YouTube. So make sure you stop out. Uh, hang out for the live stream. We're going to be doing takeovers, viewer shard pulls. I'll probably mess around in Centranos. Hopefully I can have a little bit longer of a stream for you guys today. So come on and hang out later today and i'll see you guys in the next video wait 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 don't forget to hit the like button bye